Hi Aquarius, this is your weekly day by day reading for the week starting 10th of February 2020. I will draw three cards for you. Oh, sorry, three cards. It's a seven cards day by day. <laughs> sorry. Uh, seven cards for you. And then I'm going to clarify with another seven. So we're going to have a pair of cards per day. All right. Let me just start with it. Right. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday and Sunday. Influencing energies this week is a judgment card. Okay. Sure. Two, four, five majors you've got in here. Okay, let me pull this clarifier so we're gonna tell you what we've got there. Okay, six of swords on Monday is clarified by Six of Swords. It's just confirmation of energy. Six of Swords on Tuesday, clarified by Nine of Pentacles. Very nice. The Lovers cards on Wednesday, clarified by Ten of Swords. Temperance cards on Thursday, clarified by Nine of Swords. Now Friday, Five of Swords with Page of Swords. Now Saturday, the Hierophant card, Queen of Swords, clarification card, and the Strain card on Sunday with Eight of Rods, two Eights. All right, influencing energy, influencing energy, are very nice here. It seems you're going through some uh, moments this week let me just go through this lovely influencing energy as i said it's a wish come true and the judgment card you've got this decision big decision to make and it's gonna echo around everybody gonna know will know about it everybody will know about it. you uh, i'll see now is it is it uh, it could be that somebody from your past is coming dropping suddenly uh, um, and you have to place it in your life judgment card says that somebody that you forgot somebody from your childhood or somebody that you've been doing business before and suddenly it comes again comes again or it's just your decision just your decision something that will fulfill you something that will really make you feel happy that it's going to be a decision everybody will know about it that is your influencing energy but i'm just gonna go through this week just to see how can i connect the judgment it can go you know kind of many ways but it is a major it is uh, definitely uh, some kind of decision some kind of decision that is uh, uh, it happens suddenly you don't even influence it you don't even expect it you don't even force for maybe for a moment you don't even understand but you know one once it happens you, you know it has it, it was something that it has to happen that was meant to be kind of karmic moment very related to this judgment card anyway let's start from monday two six of swords cards six of swords it isn't bad card it can tell you that you perhaps you've been busy whatever you've been busy with whatever situation they were on monday it tells me if you were doing it hard way, it's doing things hard way, you are now understanding that it can be easier. If that what is the case for some of you. Whatever situation there is, uh, uh, interaction with people, it was something done on a hard way and you want to release it. You're going into the calmer water, you want it easier now. You understand it can be easy, it doesn't need to be that hard. You know, if it's work, mental work, uh, studying or something. Now, it can tell that interaction, communication with people, because it's a swords day, it could be that is that interaction with people, it was a bit too much for you, it was a bit too tense, that people expected much of you, uh, um, and you just felt, no, uh, I don't want to go along with it. 
I don't want to argue with these people. I don't want to conf I don't want to get into conflict with these people. I'm not going to cross the swords with people or situation. I'm not going to overlap different situation. I'm not going to do that. I will just move slightly away from this situation. Try not to think of it. You know, that is also say you try not to think of something that was uh, uh, on your mind for maybe quite some time, six of swords, or it was uh, uh, coming from different directions, you know, some worries, some com unpleasant communications on, you know, some, some jobs that you had to do, that you took obligation upon yourself, things like that. You just decided on Monday, there is your way to ease your situation, whatever, to, and that's what you do. You're planning, you're moving towards easier way. Easier way now it comes for you. You see what I'm saying? Tuesday though is now completely different color, <laughs> different energies. This is something completely different. And it is kind of, it's like you get promoted, like you uh, got promotion in your business or you move forward with your ideas that now everybody see that your idea is the best idea and you are there uh, uh, being happy with your achievement you're very happy with something that you achieved it is a work stands behind you maybe that's uh, what I'm saying on Monday maybe it was a hard work and so on so you're moving towards karma waters you now settle yourself you get your uh, um, rewards for it you know and you just enjoying this wealth or a results or whatever it is Tuesday is enjoying it talking with people about it people seeing you that you are uh, um, on a high position it could also mean that Tuesday you get maybe uh, uh, um, information about promotion after uh, um, some hard work getting to some position you get promoted that as well as I said it's a victory on Tuesday that you will see uh, uh, but uh, your victory is based on your work you achieved something and you're very proud of yourself there is wealth that, uh, here on Tuesday that you want to show your abundance your your achievement your rewards in there that kind of things you see what I'm saying it's not it's not okay it's a work uh, that that uh, is a uh, causing these rewards it's you know things that uh, are um, come blissful and and all rewarding and stuff like that that what is on Tuesday that what you're showing to people that how people seeing you successful very nice Tuesday I wonder if it's related to that uh, Monday that I say that you actually leaving hard work behind and it's a Tuesday day that you enjoy it a little bit you know this calm waters it's you know whatever you achieve whatever you would re be rewarded with now um, the lovers card on Thursday or sorry on Wednesday um, temperance card on Thursday with these two very similar ten of swords nine of swords ten of swords with the lovers card it tells me I don't see as a breakup situation, not in this combination. Ten of Swords, that's something that's within you. I think it comes from this, it could that comes from this Monday, that end of the day, you will make your decision. Somehow there is choice, movement there, um, that, uh, uh, that some decision you have to make. And it is what is good there in this lover's card. You have you you You've got to choose between two nice things. That is something that you love to do, or uh, to different people that you love, or to different situations, but nothing is bad there. You know, now, you when you drop everything, you, you drop everything, all your worries, now all the ten swords are there. You're dropping it. It's it's over. You, you know, you're not dropping it. It drops on you. Okay, but you, you felt the last... Uh, unpleasant moment it's nightmare it drops you dead down there or it was hard work you know it's also ten of souls sometimes you know when you kind of go in and do your spring cleaning and in the evening you said oh I'm dead you know that kind of you you dead of all this work but it's lot is accomplished it's done a lot 
it's not a, a um, empty card it's it's a lot accomplished as well no matter it's that one uh, looks dead down there it is a rise and as I said it could be something very small down there something that you like something that you choose in between you know something you, you're going for love this time you're going for something that you love it could be situation it could be some kind of partnership or something but you're loving it and there's angel down there protecting it it's kind of divinely protected this decision but you're definitely going out of of this uh, uh, tough moments tough moments and it's, it seems to me the whole week is actually uh, about it getting rude of something that is tough all right now we can connect this judgment card it's a big decision to make get rid of cut it off it's a big decision here to get rid of something that is uh, uh, doesn't it's not it's it just tires you it just kills your energy and you want to go with something that is that is more pleasant for you something that you love to do it is obviously that what you've been doing it was uh, kind of tells me it was hard work but and it brings you results and uh, um, you've got accomplishment there but you don't want it anymore it seems it tires you too much it's too heavy on you it kills your energy it kills your passion you don't want it you don't want it anymore and I see on top, it is showing, it is showing that it is, that there is the choice between uh, um, things that you love to do. You will make decision. Uh, I see a Thursday with temperance card, nine of swords. It tells me you will take your time, Aquarius. You will take your time. Absolutely no decision made because you do have fear. You probably it seems to me something it was so hard on you on that side. It was and it was on your mind. I th I think things got so hard on your mind that you're scared it might be repeated and you will take your time there. You're taking your time. Which is uh, uh, tells me choose the, uh, you do see your choice something you uh, uh, that that between things that you love to do and you understand it's good for you that is Wednesday no matter you feel broken down you see it is good future for you but then you will take your time definitely will take, you need your time to heal yourself this is this was something that was really really hard on you it could be relationship as well. It could be relationship that you have to heal after the something that is uh, a relationship who was, that, that was really uh, got really heavy on you, emotionally exhausting, that you're healing out of it. That's also possible for some of you. Let me move further to this Friday, Five of Swords, with Page of Swords. Let me tell you, this Friday... If I don't like to give warning, I just think whatever energy comes, it's the best to go with. But Page of Souls with Five of Souls, it tells me it's going to be message, unpleasant. It's going to be words, uh, uh, communication, and 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 um, you know those Five of Souls tells me um, when you um, feel as a winner who wants you offended another. You know, once you make another feel like loser, you know, that would satisfy you. That kind of vindictive, that kind of, you know, you kind of feel um, maybe mean within yourself towards another. I don't know what is going on, but Friday brought within you that kind of feeling. We all do sometime uh, um, and uh, feeling bitter. This this is bitterness. But this, this is information that... Uh, um, um, is uh, very unpleasant very unpleasant unpleasant for your soul even if it's not you who is like that who feels like that uh, i don't know which is worse if it's another does that to you so you try to make you lose it try to make you uh, to offend you and to let to, to uh, bring you down things like that but my impression is being that page of swords is your card that you starting you bringing forward this five of swords that you are the initiator let's talk you know let me tell you you know that kind of things let me now tell you and then starts and it doesn't end until once <laughs> you know, one is dead <laughs> not dead but i mean seriously wounded you see what i'm saying that kind of friday uh perhaps you know uh, 
uh, any situation could be um, good in the long run <laughs> even if it's very unpleasant in a moment anyway let's uh, move forward the Hierophant and the Queen of Swords now Saturday is Sunday with two major arcanas 218 here Queen of Swords I see now this very stable energies. This isn't stable. This week isn't stable. It is the make decision, but it's kind of uh, how can, um, emotionally. Um, how can I put it? It doesn't doesn't make you feel well. You try... Oh, I'm sorry. My telephone was ringing. Um, um, let me just where I was. Yeah, Saturday and Sunday. The Hierophant and Queen of Swords, the Strength card, another 8 card, 8 of Wands. Something is moving on on weekend for you. It's weekend and it's lovely. Look at this Taurian card. It's Taurus. It's it's something earthy. It's stable. It's true. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's good advice. It's moving forward. Uh, having a key of uh, for 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 uh, solution for something, um, having a teacher. With Queen of Swords, Queen of Swords Aquarius is your is your energy. You feel like that. There is showing you direction, cutting whatever you don't want for yourself. Whatever this one says, go right way. Just what what is what is right for everybody. You're not going to be selfish. You don't feel to do things just for yourself or to serve another. Just do what is right for everybody. Just what is nice for everybody. It's a higher fun. And Queen of Souls, it's you. You are in your energy in here. Very contrasting from, from this Friday. Maybe you need to <laughs> blow steam out somehow. And then you are very stable in here the whole weekend. The whole weekend after this Friday, the whole weekend, you see your way. The Queen of Swords, it's it's very clear with his with its idea, but it's very caring as well. It cares about others too. The Hierophant, the Queen of Swords, it will be done. You will do things that is good for everybody. You won't offend anybody. You want to do things that are good for everybody. You don't want to be offended as well. Just fair. You want things fair. Eight of, of uh, um, uh, sorry, a strength and eight of wands. It's a two eights. It tells me that something that is, uh, this is hard work and sudden and and uh, um, uh, communication and everything. It takes takes lots of your energy. Takes lots of you involved in the situation on Sunday. Takes lots of you. Um, how can I put it? When you have to uh, get involved with people, with situation, with the moment, with whatever it is, with full power, you, you cannot look around at all. You just have to be focused and concentrated because if you lose your sight for one uh, a moment, something will will um, uh, will. Um, go away or uh, go in a wrong way or something won't end up well that kind of feeling for your sunday is a very strange sunday feeling though both eight cards are expansive that, that is that uh, eight is always like it's always it has to bring more you're gonna need your strength you have to deal with lots of things and it's gonna be sudden and it's gonna fall on you like unexpectedly but then then you're gonna handle it the strength card. I mean, you are undoubtedly before this energy. You are uh, uh, full of energy. You are full of uh, uh, this uh, decisiveness. Nothing can can uh, um, you are unshaken in here. Whatever comes your way, you will do it. You'll do it. You'll move forward, and you're moving for such a beautiful energy from for Saturday and Sunday. This weekend, something is really happening for you. I really like this weekend energy. So beautiful, so powerful energy for you. You can do anything, you handle everything, everything that comes your way, and it comes unexpectedly and big things. And you know, you only you can deal with it, and you're dealing with really with confidence. You're so confident here, Aquarius. I really think that uh, you will enjoy <laughs> at least this weekend, if not before. <laughs> enjoy your week.